Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will see how to create a new database. To create a new database, you don't have to use any new command. You can just use SQLite 3 followed by the database name. I'll create a database called test.db. So make sure to give the extension .db. So if you see test.db database created but on the command prompt we can't see anything or any confirmation that our database is created so to check whether the database is created or not you can go to databases or you can check by using dot databases and if you see i have one database and the file location is this is my current file location test.tv and at any moment if you want to quit this sqlite you can use dot quit this is one way you can also use control for and d you can use control plus d so i'm inside sqlite folder if you see the database is already created with the name test.db and we can also use dot dump to export the complete database in the form of text file so that is sqlite 3 and followed by the database name that is test.db and dump and the file name the file name would be anything something like test.sql if you see i have the database and I have a file and I copied the data or I, I copied the complete database by using dot dump command in this lecture we will see how to attach a database consider a scenario when you have multiple databases available and you want to use any one of them at, an, at a time so SQL so SQLite attach database statement is used to select a particular database and after this command all SQLite statements will be executed under the attach database. The basic syntax of SQLite attach database statement is so before executing that command you should be inside SQLite so use SQLite 3 so I'm inside the SQLite terminal and then we can use something like attach and make sure that this is in uppercase letters attach make sure that it is in uppercase letters so attach followed by database as so this is my existing database and i want to attach with the name attach test so the database names Okay, let's before that let's list the list of databases available. We can use dot database. Okay, we don't have any databases at this moment. So we will attach database test dot database and I'm attaching the tester database as test attach and remember every SQLite statement should end with semicolon so to see the list of available databases we can use dot database so if you see we have test attach and we it is pointing to test.tb the database names main and test attach are reserved for the primary database and database to hold temporary tables and other temporary data objects. 
both of these database names exist for every database connection and should not be used for attachment otherwise you will get a warning message we will see what warning we will get so i want to use this previous command once again so you are getting an error database test attach is already in use okay so we cannot use the attached database name more than once